Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about the fourth beta of iOS 15 which has just been released by Apple. Now, of course, Apple is trying to figure things out and of course clean up iOS 15 as it's getting closer to the release of the final version to the public but looks like a lot of things have just been messed up a lot. Now, let's go ahead, take a look at iOS 15 beta 4 and let me show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, first of all, let's just talk about the performance of iOS 15 beta 4. This is a good one. So taking a look at the history of the tests right here that I've done on all the different betas, you can see there a slight improvement on beta 4. So we have on the single core score 1,600 exactly, and we have 4,111 on the multi-core score, which is a slight improvement over the last beta 3, which was quite good as well. But what I'm talking about here is of course Safari. Uh, going to Safari, you will see here a total mess on the address bar. Now, of course, Apple redesigned completely Safari on iOS 15. Most people think that was not necessary. And of course, it was way better before. So here's what I'm talking about. You can see this is the address bar right here. This little space has like a ton of different actions. So let's just count them together. We have here two different buttons. So one to go forward, one backward. So we have two. Right there we have the address bar, so you tap right there of course to go to the address bar, so that's three. Now you have a new refresh button which Apple has added on iOS 15 beta 4, so that's four. We have there the X button to stop the refresh, that's five. And if you go to like an article that supports reader mode, you can see now there's a button right there for the reader mode as well. So that's six we have here another space which you can use to go again to the address bar that's seven we have the share sheet and that's eight and we have here the button to go to the tabs that's nine and we also have of course the 3d touch that's 10 and we have the swipe up gesture to go to the tabs view that's 11. so 11 different actions in this one little space that's a total mess and of course you probably will just place your finger and tap the wrong action a lot while using safari on ios 15 hopefully apple will do something to fix that now of course besides these problems there are amazing new features as well that have been added on ios 15 beta 4 and let's quickly go ahead and take a look at those features so let's just stay here on safari and continue with the features that you will see on safari first of all we have the new share sheet here so basically the three dots now have been actually replaced with this button right here if you go to the tabs view now if you have a tab open that will support the reader mode you can just 3d touch on that tab and show the reader mode right there and when you're on the tab again you can just tap right there on that little button to go to the reader mode now this refresh button right here a lot of people like it i'm not really a big fan of it it's just too small and you will probably place your finger right there on the address bar when you're trying to refresh the web page but what you can do is also of course just swipe down like this to actually refresh the page on safari which in my opinion is way more practical and way way better than this button that has been added on beta 4. now one thing i do like on beta 4 on safari is this part right here so the share sheet will change once you start downloading a file on safari so you can see that arrow pointing upwards now when you start downloading something it will go like down here so you will see right now in a second once the download starts it will actually go down here and that little square that you see right there will actually fill up as the download progresses so once it's always all the way complete that will be blue all the entire square right there will be blue and of course it will indicate the progress of your download though of course a lot of other new features that have been added that are actually very useful and one of them is an action on the shortcuts to return to home screen now a lot of shortcuts and automations as well that use other apps will take you to an app to perform an action and will stay on that app now with this action you will be able to actually go back 
right on the home screen of your iPhone. Going to the control center, you will now see right here a new icon for the notes and you will see also a new icon for the notifications on the settings app. Another icon that has been updated is the camera icon on the lock screen of your device. So that has a slight change, but of course you will notice it. If you take a look at two iPhones, one on beta three and one on beta four, you will notice a design change right there. Another icon that has been changed is the smart rotate icon. When you go to smart stack on your widgets, you will see right there, that's a new icon, which looks quite good. And going to your settings, enter your notifications you will see now the scheduled summary right there shows the clock and you will have here a new section screen sharing so basically you can enable or disable notifications when you're sharing the screen of your iphone with a new share play feature and this in my opinion is a really really useful feature that apple has added to ios 15. Now, when you go to your focuses, you want to add a new one. You will see that the custom focus now has a new icon right there. And also, if you go to one of your focuses and you tap here to add a schedule or automation, you will have smart activation now under that section. This also has been changed from beta three to beta four. And of course, this beta beta four will also add support for the MagSafe, the new MagSafe that Apple has released. Now it has been supported officially on iOS 15 beta four. Another change on the design of iOS 15 beta four, when you go to the app store, you will see here a design change. Basically we'll have these little cards just like you have now on the settings app on iOS 15. This has been updated and changed on iOS 15 beta four. On iOS 15 beta 4, now you will have the chance to share memories. So if you're on one of your memories, you will see right there, now you have a share button. So now it has been allowed to actually share memories that you have on your device. And the lookup, we have here a new change. So if you go to lookup, you can see now it shows this section right here. So lookup and it says dog. So basically you would have previously just this little icon on the photo. Now you will also have this section under the share menu. There are a couple of changes on the iPad as well. So when you go to your settings and you go to Safari, now you will have the option to choose compact tab bar or separate tab bar, whichever view you like basically the most, you can go ahead and choose from the settings of Safari. You will find it under the tab section right here. And we also have a new widget. So the biggest widget that you can add on Safari, now it has added support for the podcast as well. So you will get the extra large widget for podcasts in Safari. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is iOS 15 beta four. Now things are looking good performance wise it's very stable and battery life is not that bad at all and of course we have quite some cool and useful features that apple has added and is adding with the new betas but they just don't seem to get like an answer for safari and the new design they they have done maybe it's the best to turn on the old design so that's basically it for this video guys let me know what you think about the new safari on ios 15 i will see you guys on the next video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more